garden where the Savior prayed for me. Twas the garden of Gethsemane. Looked ahead and saw dark Calvary. Jesus prayed and won the victory. Gethsemane, twas there for me. Jesus prayed and suffered agony. Gethsemane, was there for me. Jesus prayed and won the victory. Jesus sweat great drops of blood for me. In the garden of Gethsemane Face the challenge of eternity Jesus prayed and won the victory Gethsemane was there for me Jesus prayed and suffered agony Gethsemane was there for me Jesus prayed and won the victory Jesus prayed and won the victory. Jesus prayed and won the victory. The Garden of Gethsemane. What an awesome place. The Bible says in Matthew 26, 36, Then cometh Jesus with them, that's his disciples, all but Judas, unto a place called Gethsemane. Now Judas is going to join them a little bit later, but he's going to be with the other crowd, coming to take Jesus away by force. Jesus has gone this far, and he'll go a little farther, as the scripture says. But he's come to this place, a place of quiet meditation with his faithful followers who will prove themselves unfaithful, but then, then later on will be tried and true. And he's teaching them that every challenge and the greatest challenges to the least need to be faced with prayer. He comes to pray. And he saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he became very sorrowful. He was under duress. He was sweating, as it were, great drops of blood. Not because he was afraid to die. Not at all. Not at all. But he was in the throes of agony because he was about to go through this experience of Calvary the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ are wonderful to us, but I cannot imagine what was going through the God-man Jesus Christ at this time. Satan was trying to kill him in the garden, keep him from the cross, but God's will was for him to die in your place and mine. Gethsemane is the place of trial, the place of, of prayer, the place of preparation. Everybody needs a Gethsemane. How about you? Let's pray. Father, we pray for all those who are viewing today. We thank you for Gethsemane. We thank you for our Savior who, as a 
role model for prayer teaches us that as we go through difficulties, we need to agonize in prayer. And we do today for lost sinners, for those that are straying, for those that are hurting, for those that may be suffering or dying. I pray for the disenfranchised, for the hurting. Lord, I pray for that which is broken to be mended. And I pray, Lord, that you'll help lost folks to come to Christ at this time. With heads bowed, if you've never received Christ, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you pray right now and say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart. Save me right now. Take away my sins and take me to heaven. And if you prayed that prayer, let us know. We'd love to rejoice with you and help you if we can. And those soul winners out there that are winning souls, let us know. We, we love to hear about that. Father, I pray for each one now at this time and all year long. Help us to focus on the challenges, problems of life as Jesus Christ our Savior did and through His eyes see how a wonderful, merciful, loving Father knows what's best. And Lord, we pray Thy will be done, not ours, but Thy will be done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Jesus prayed and won the victory. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.